Hello and welcome to my TubeBuddy A-B test video where I'm going to show you how you can A-B test your YouTube thumbnails in order to get many more clicks and obviously increase your views. This is one of my favorite features that they have to offer. If you'd like to test out TubeBuddy, I will leave a link down below where you can actually test them out for free. Keep in mind, I believe this is going to be one of the features where you need the legend plan. So with that being said, allow me to show you how easy it is to do. So under A-B test, when you're actually logged in, you're going to go to create, you know, manage is where going to be all of them are. So it says, which video would you like to run a test on? I'm just going to go for this one, you know, randomly. And what you want to do, there's going to be two types of different A-B tests that you'd like to run. There's going to be thumbnail CTR test. It says, focus on improving CTR with a better thumbnail. Does not affect video ranking or discoverability. CTR stands for click-through rate and lets you know what percentage of people click to watch your video each time it's displayed on YouTube. On the other hand, we're also going to have the metadata test. So it allows you to change the thumbnail, title, tags, and or description all in a single test. I'm not a big fan of this as much just because of what it says right here. If testing more than one aspect of a video, it can be unclear which change actually affected the results. So I like doing one thing at a time. That's probably like the fundamentals of running a split test. So I've pretty much gone with this, I think every single time. So I'm going to click on select. And what you can do is set a number of days. Now, this is going to greatly depend on your video and the amount of views you get. If you get a video where it's sitting at the top of the ranking when you search for a keyword and it gets, you know, like 10 views a day, maybe you get a few clicks, it's going to take a lot longer. But if you have something that is going to be getting a ton of views, it's going to obviously show up the results much quicker. So you can do a set number of days and it says final results will be available on so and so after a certain amount of days. But I like this one because it keeps running until it gets uh, statistically significant. So that's a standard mathematical calculation that lets you know based on video impressions and clicks when one version of the test has a 95% or better chance of outperforming the other in the long run. Okay. And both the original and variation have 500 plus impressions. This test length can be as quick as two days or last weeks, depending on how many views YouTube displays it on screen, how well your variation CTR is performing against the original. Your video will automatically get set to the winning version once statistical significance is achieved. So overall, I really like this one. It's kind of let it go, let it run. And once it's done, you can obviously just be good with it. Or if you realize maybe the statistical uh, significance isn't all the way complete, it can be almost there you'll probably get a good idea of what the winner is going to be otherwise so you can click on select there and of course i like doing run a asap which will be like at midnight so it'll start pretty much the next day in the morning you can click on continue then of course what you do is upload a different thumbnail this is where you're going to go with it and last but not least you would run start test i don't have a different one for this just kind of showing you how you would do it choose file here, upload it, and then start test. So allow me to show you an example of one that I did complete just to show you some statistics a little while ago. So I had two of them just for one here I wanted to test out with essay writing. Kind of similar, you know, not too different, but it is different thumbnails, so we can always get test that way. So it says, based on click-through rate, the original version of your video outperformed your variation by 13.95%. So as we can see, the click-through rate, which is going to be one of the biggest things here, talks about what that is, but we know 13.9%. So original had 18.05 and the variation had around 16. So about 18 and 16, not a huge deal, but overall I'm going to go with the one that's doing better. Talks about impressions and clicks and of course with the variation, watch time per impression. So even the original had better, which is good too. Uh, daily impressions and daily clicks, that's going to be total. And then of course we have total views, average view duration. In my opinion, this stuff is cool, but overall I am looking for, this is nice too, where it shows the traffic sources, but overall what I'm doing is looking for pretty much this right here. These two are going to be the biggest ones. So which number is higher? And once you are done with that, of course, before it stops, it'll say, you know, do you want to use the original one, which is doing better? Do you want to use the variation? Obviously, you're going to go with the one that's doing better unless, you know, something you wanted to change or do differently. But all in all, that's what's going to be all about the A-B split testing. What I like about it is that it's pretty much set and forget. As long as you have another YouTube thumbnail that you can utilize, you upload it, you know, you have it start the next day. And I like to and I like doing it until it finds enough data where it's statistically correct, as it can show here with the uh, statistically significant is going to be the check mark. So all in all, that's how you can do it with TubeBuddy. It's going to be their A-B testing. This is great, especially if you're more of a person who wants to get views from suggested. This is really going to help you out, especially because you're getting more views in the process. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, I will have a link in the description where you can test out TubeBuddy. They do have a free plan to at least test out many of their features. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.